I, I double dog dare Say your you. your friends, your homeboy, your homegirl, I'm locking you up. Don't shake your head at me. If you want to do my job, go to law I school. double dog dare you. Put some more aluminum foil on a tab. So let me say this. I don't know who the culprit is, but you better sell it. You're being Today's ridiculous. They set for a pretrial conference. Um, is this matter properly before this court? So, Your Honor, I had an opportunity to speak with Mr. Henderson. Um, from my understanding of the conversation that we had, um, I believe that this would be more proper for the DV document. All right, Mr. Flanagan, can you call next door and ask um, the clerk what is their pleasure? Do they want me to send the individuals there now or just give another date? <laughs> Probably another date because. Could you go make me a cup of coffee, please? Can you stop talking um, to somebody while you on my record, please? And you still not sitting up straight for me like I asked you to before we got on court. I mean, before you went in the breakout room. All right, Your Honor. Yes. Okay. Um, they set a pretrial date of July 14th at 8.30 a.m. You all asked me on a case, I don't know if this is it, uh, to reduce the bond or to take away the tether, and I didn't because it was a potential DV case. It, that's not this. Ms. Robinson is being held on something else other than this case. So I'm actually... Um... I probably need my partner and if Mr. Murad talked to Ms. Robinson this morning because I am puzzled as to why Ms. Robinson is incarcerated right now. Um, okay, well, let me bring Mr. Murad in. If I may, Your Honor. You may. So, Judge, on June 15th, we actually had a tether violation hearing for Ms. Robinson. Um, I don't know if the court remembers, but this is the case where Ms. Robinson put the aluminum foil on her... Oh, yeah. Okay, I knew it was something. Okay, and then I said I wasn't, but I didn't. Oh, and then I. So did I not give her? I didn't give her a personal bond either, did I? Um, I have bond condition amended to one thousand dollars, ten percent with GPS seven house arrest. Okay. All right. All right, Mr. Murad, we figured it out. That's why I brought you out. But my apologies, Your Honor. Uh, that's okay. Yes, um, ma'am. Okay, with respect to Miss Robinson. Uh, I did say that if she didn't bond out, I would uh, readdress her bond today. Mr. Moran. Your Honor, uh, with regard to that, um, unfortunately, uh, Ms. Robinson has not been able to post the uh, monetary bond. She has sat in the Wayne County Jail for well over a week um, because of this violation. Judge, I'd ask the court to consider uh, amending her bond to personal. Um, I know the court's not inclined to remove the tether today. Um, but I would ask the court to consider it. Um, if not, Judge, we are asking for at least the bond to be amended to personal bond. She spent some, I believe, over 10 days in the Wayne County Jail. All right. So uh, any response from the people? So, Judge, I had an opportunity to speak with um, Mr. Henderson about this case. And from my understanding, Your Honor, um, Ms. Robinson is still... Uh, reaching out to Mr. Henderson via phone. She's actually calling, allegedly calling Mr. Henderson from the jail um, numerous of times. Um, I know that prior or prior to her being incarcerated for the tether violation, when she was out on the GPS tether, she was sending uh, cabs to Mr. Henderson's home. She was also sending cabs to people he knows. He, she was reaching out to Mr. Henderson's um, children's mother and those type of effects, Your Honor. So I'm actually going to ask the court, based on that information, to keep the bond as is and um, keep the GPS tethered with house arrest in this matter due, due to the information received from the people, Judge. Your Honor, may we be heard as to that as well? Yeah, but who going who gonna to talk? Because now you know y'all both can't keep talking on the record. If, if we both could, that would be helpful because Mr. Mraz spoke with Ms. Robinson today, Your Honor. But um, so I think that both of us should, should represent her today. Um, I don't know how but, much, I don't know how Ms. Ritter going to feel about that, but go ahead. 
Okay, I just really want to speak to the um the contact. I was I was confused as to why Ms. Robinson was still in jail today because I have received um numerous um text messages from Ms. Robinson where she has expressed um concern for her personal safety um because of the complaining witness directly and through third parties attempting to contact her to the point where I responded to Ms. Robinson that if she was concerned for her personal safety because someone was harassing her that she should contact the police. Um, again, I have messages that were sent to me via text message as well as email. So Ms. Robinson clearly understands that she should initiate no contact with this complaining witness, that she shouldn't have any complaint, any contact with him through third parties. And she doesn't want him to contact her either, um, either directly or through third parties, Judge. Um, I'm going to join my brother counsel's motion for the, the removal of the GPS tether, Your Honor, at least to the reduction of the bond to personal with the GPS tether, because that actually would help um, to provide Ms. Robinson with a necessary defense if the complaining witness is alleging that she's coming over to where he is. Well, here's the thing. So she doesn't want to have contact with him. She's afraid of him yeah, they both, and other I, people let me tell you what working I at his behest. Let me tell you what I surmise. I surmise they both want to have contact with each other. That's what I surmise. Now, one thing is for sure. If Miss Robinson has called Mr. Henderson from the Wayne County Jail, where all phone calls are recorded on a recorded, I don't need any affirmation. I don't need any thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't need anything. Mr. Henderson, just listen, please. Yes, ma'am. If that has occurred, it's so easy to get. It's just so it's so easy to get. Like it's so completely easy to get. What I also know is that Miss Robinson goes through a lot of stuff to get around stuff that she want to get around. Cause she put that aluminum foil on that tether. She left out that house when she wasn't supposed to. She's getting into it with a person who she is dependent on because she is tethered to their home. And like I said, at the bond hearing, I wouldn't get in the argument with a person who I had to be tethered to their house. I wouldn't get in an argument with them. They could say whatever they want to say to me. And I would just try to sit there and try to take it as long as they weren't hitting me or cursing at me, cursing me, you know, caught, belittling me. Um, and then if I had to get away from, I just go on the porch. I'm not going to leave the house while I go in the backyard. So listen, um, I never understand these types of situations. I never do. But uh, because if somebody don't want me, I don't want them. If they don't want me, I don't want them. Um, and so I'm not, I'm not running after you begging, begging for you to and do nothing and and then i'm not um yeah so I, I never understand these type of situations what i'm saying is I, I don't know who's contacting who but please don't be silly enough to think that it's not easy to find out who's contacting who with the flick of a pen mm -hmm. we can we can get the record just with, with the signing of a warrant, with the signing of a subpoena, it, we can get the records. So stop acting like we can't tell who contacted who. Stop acting like if somebody, a third party contacting another person, we can't get the record and say, you called this person on this day, this person called her on this day. Stop acting like kids on here. Let's act, let's act like some adults. Um, if the relationship is over, it's just, it's over. Move on. Move on to the next thing, to the next person, to the next whatever, to get on somebody else's nerves. Go go get on somebody else's nerves. But I'm going to tell you this. 
if either one of you violate this no contact provision between now and July 14th, I am going to lock you up. If either one of you violate this no contact provision before the matter reaches Judge Garrett, I am going to lock you up. If you put something on Facebook, I'm, I'm locking you up. If you send a message through Messenger, I'm locking you up. If you send a text message, if you make a phone call, if you send a taxi, if you send your friends, your homeboy, your homegirl, I'm locking you up. Miss Robinson, if you contact him, I'm revoking the bond, the whole bond. And you're just going to be remanded to the Wayne County Jail until the case is heard. Now, wouldn't that be a shame to be remanded on a case and spend more time in jail waiting on the case to come to trial than you would be once if you get convicted? Then you get convicted, they just gonna say, credit for time served, cause you've been serving the time. And then God forbid you get acquitted and you've been sitting in jail. Can I say something? No, you cannot. No. So let me say this. I don't know who the culprit is, but you better stop it. You better stop it. Cause you're being silly. You're being ridiculous. The case is in court now. Let it be in court. If you wanted to be together, you should have stayed together. Let it be in court. So nobody is contacting anybody. There is nothing going on in the world that needs to be discussed between Darlenia Robinson and Dietrich Henderson. If we're if we if they announce we get ready to go to war, you two can't discuss it. The court is going to reduce the bond to a personal bond, but I am going to don't shake your head at me. If you want to do my job, go to law school, get a law degree, practice for five years, and then run for judge. Put your cup down because we're in court and there's only three pe four people on the screen that are permitted to drink anything because we're doing all the talking. So if you think you can do the job better than me, please apply for it. Because I could just let her go without a tether. That's what I could do. And if you keep talking, that's what I'm going to do. Mr. Henderson, please stop talking. Well, let me say this, because his, his behavior right now, like that whole head back, lean back, whatever, is all disrespectful. And it's all inappropriate court behavior, all of it is, all of it is, all of it is. I am going to reduce the bond to a personal bond. I am not going to amend the tether. It will remain, it will remain. <clears throat> a tether, she will be tethered to somebody's house who's going to allow her to be tethered there. Um, and then uh, it will also still be the a house arrest tether. And then I want Miss Ritter to confirm from somebody the allegation that she has been calling from the Wayne County Jail. Because I want Judge Garrett to be aware if she has been calling 
from the Wayne County Jail so that on July 14th, when there's another motion made for the adjustment of the tether condition, they can be aware as to whether she in fact was calling from the Wayne County Jail. Is there anything else with respect to Ms. Robinson from the lawyers, from the lawyers? Nothing on behalf of the people, Judge. I will inquire on getting um, the transcripts for those jail calls. Nothing further, Your Honor. All right. Then, Ms. Robinson, when they have a tether available, they will let you out of jail, but you are on house arrest. Now, let me say this. Put some more aluminum foil on a tether. I, I double dog dare you. I double dog dare you to put some more aluminum foil on a tether. And I'm going to remand you again. I'm going to remand you. I'm going to remand. If, if, you, if you tamper with that tether, I'm going to remand you to the Wayne County Jail. Anything further? No, thank you, Judge. Not all right, then we're all set. Everybody have a great day and stay safe.